<laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, he jumps! Okay, he can climb up there, too. Alrighty, then. Is there anybody up here? Ow! Threw a rock at me! Alright, Survivors, Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Unturned. We're picking up where we left off here. After the end of the last episode, we are on the Elver map, of course. Just parked on the side of the road. Just set up a little camp here. Got my melons growing. Uh, everything's looking pretty good. Oh, gosh, is it starting to snow? Starting to, I think I just saw a snowflake. Did you see that? Anyway, I'm going to make a headlamp. Apparently, we can make a headlamp, and it's uh, just a matter of slapping some items together, like cloth and some metal and a flashlight and a carrot. That carrot right there. Can you, uh, can you hand me that carrot, please? Right there. Grab it. No, oh, never mind. I'll get it. I'll get it. I get it. Okay, no. Just don't eat it. Whatever you do, drop it. Drop it. Don't stop. Drop. How do you drop? There we go. <laughs> okay, maybe I can do this better uh, in this this view. Yeah, so we have all the ingredients. Check it out. We can make a headlamp with a carrot, flashlight, piece of metal, cloth, and huzzah. I mean, we can find these two. Oh, what did I do? Wrong thing. Press craft. Yes. Oh, and I slapped it on too. And it comes complete with batteries. Awesome. All right, let's uh, let's harvest a uh, melon here. We're gonna salvage it, and we're gonna eat it because it's so delicious. They're filling and they hydrate as well. And we'll just carry the rest with us because now it is time to boogie. So where are we gonna go today? Ooh, drop the gun. Um, yeah, so I have um, I've loaded everything up on our vehicle here, our Justin Beeb, and he does need a little bit of repair work. He's in rough shape, but uh, we got gas. We have battery and I loaded everything up here to save on space in the back and I put up some racks and got all the good stuff here and we do have actually whoop, hold on, hold on. we do actually have some gas here I think uh yeah so yeah I think we're ready to roll out let's uh let's have a look at the map because we have some interesting locations nearby we have a military checkpoint up to the north here alpha and then down here we have military checkpoint bravo and it looks like they're on the main drag. So let's, um, yeah, let's go right up over here and check those two out. And maybe we'll get, uh, we'll get some good guns and ammo. And we can also go down here to the gas station and potentially find a blowtorch. So we can, uh, we can fix up old Justin Beeb here. Because he's in, he's in pretty terrible shape. And I am seeing snowflakes. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like we have weather on this map. That's pretty cool. So I guess, uh, I guess winter is coming, my friends. All right, let's go. All right. So we got a ramp here. Uh, I think this is the off ramp because on ramps are usually on the right hand side. But well, you know, it is the zombie apocalypse and there's really nobody else around. So we're going up the off ramp. Woohoo! Always wanted to do this, but uh, it's probably not a good idea when there's traffic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hit the brakes. Here we are on the major highway. Ooh, what's this right here? Looks like we got some military vehicles right here. Ooh, all right, kill the engine. Let's go check it out. Uh, bottoms, I'm gonna need the cloth. Oh, this has fuel in it too, which is good. Yeah, we can siphon all the gas out of these vehicles. And a military knife. Oh, tank trap. A cow trap. Cow trap. Ooh, MRE. Oh man, snow's really coming down now. You can hear the wind blowing. What is this? Oh, it's a pog. A pog? <laughs> you don't say. Uh, okay, well, what exactly is a pog? Is it supposed to be an aug? I think it's supposed to be an aug, but they put a P in front of it, so now it's a pog. Look at that. It's beautiful. It is a ranged assault rifle weapon. Ooh, I like it. Low caliber ammunition. Oh, we have a ton of ammunition and magazines for this thing. Let's grab that caltrop. These are actually pretty useful. You can spread them out around and use them on the zombies. Um, and I think we have plenty of rubber, but let's check out this gun. We have some ammo. Oh, yeah. Look at all the mags we have for this thing. Tons and tons. Woo! Man, storm rolling in. Interesting. Yeah, let's, uh, let's put a new mag in there. Now we got 30 rounds in the mag. This is a, it looks like it's, uh, automatic. We should be able to switch to safety, semi-automatic. And automatic fire. Ooh, I like it. I'm gonna stick with the semi and uh, not run through the ammo super fast. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some gas right now and dump it into the old beeb. There we go. All right, now we have a full tank and a full jerry can, and I think we have another jerry can inside the trunk. Yeah, we do. Is it full? It's empty. All right, let's fill it up. Don't want to pass up on gas. And you don't want to pass gas either. 
So there you go. All right, let me just rip off this clothing and make some bandages, and then we're gonna be back on the road. Hang tight. Ah! Uh, oh, I got one. Mmm, delicious. I love eating snow. You should come out and try it. Uh, right. Never mind. I know we got better things to do. Hang on. All right, let's roll out down the road to the military checkpoint at this end of the map, and then we'll go to the other end of the map and check that one out as well. And oh, we have to accessorize our new pog here in a second. Oh, hold up, hold up. We got a roadblock. Er, oh gosh. And one very large fella. Is that a... Yeah, that's a mega. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a mega zombie. That's going to be a problem. Although we do have a lot of ammunition. It seems like this map has tons of ammo. So maybe we should just open up on them. And uh, just go to town with our new riffle. But let's, uh, let's, let's accessorize, first of all. What do we have here? We have a couple of horizontal grips. We have a pistol suppressor. And a rain stock. All right, let's um, let's see what we can put on here. Oh gosh, I hear that big guy. Oh man. All right, what can we accessorize? We can put a grip on it. it does not come with a grip. We'll put that grip on there. Very nice. And it matches. Um, well, we can't put a stock on this one. Okay. And we don't have any extra sights or barrels that fit it. Um, hmm. All right. Well, that's too bad. Now, let's put this pickaxe away. We're going to need the pickaxe because apparently we can mine those crystals like the ones we saw in the mall. There's like a huge crystal right in the middle of the mall. <laughs> and we'll go back and check on that eventually. I'm going to put that away. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we could take this guy with all of our ammo. We have a ton. We do have a ton, but maybe we should take out his little buddies silently first. And can we get up on top of those uh, those crates, those Hescos? Looks like Hescos. I think we might be able to. If we can get up there, we can just maybe stab him in the head with a herring or maybe a katana. Yeah. Let's fix that katana up. Maybe we can hit him with the, um, with the jackhammer too. <laughs> Let's do a little quick repair job here on our katana. And if we get lucky, we can probably get the high ground and just whack on his head for a little a little bit. Maybe he can't get us. I don't know. That seems like wishful thinking, doesn't it? And we should fix the pog, too. I'm not sure if we're able to without a blowtorch. It could be a problem. Let's see. Oh, we can. Okay, we can fix the pog with that metal there. And we don't have enough metal for anything else. We're just going to have to go with it. All right, well, let's uh, let's first take out his buddies. We'll do that quietly with the pistol. Look at the tight reticle on this thing, huh? Wow, super duper. Wow, let's check it out. Yeah, this thing has quite a few attachments on it, and it's majorly accurate. Look at that. Oh, it's flanky, but I see you. Okay, I just don't want this bullet to ricochet and hit the big fella. Look at that reticle. It's tiny, tiny. It's so accurate. All right, um, when that rifle starts to shoot, my guess is all the zombies in the area are going to come out and try to help their, uh, their Sarge. So let's make sure there's nobody else around. We're going to try to sneak around back here. Oh, grab that. See what we got. Oh, there's a guy. Bow. We don't even need to bring up the iron sights. Oh, hi, buddy. Got a guy right here, too. So let's, um, I'm going to use, going to use some melee weapons here when we can. <laughs> Save on ammo. We might need it for the big guy. Ooh, what'd you drop, dude? Drop something. Uh, pistol mag. Okay, we might need those eight rounds. <laughs> and fuel and tank trap. Well, I wonder if we could block him in with a tank trap somehow. Like, maybe trap him somewhere with the tank trap. No, you don't think so? Bad idea. All right, maybe we won't try that after all. Uh, oh, what is that? Is that a backpack? I think that's ammo. Compass. We have a compass, right? Um, rubber. So many rubbers around here. Now we do get, um, oh, that's a military vest. We have one, though. Yeah, yeah, we do. All right, let's break that one down. Oh, another magazine here for the pistol. We get experience for these. You get more experience from the targets than you do from killing zombies. Four apiece. That's pretty good. All right, maybe we can find a uh, backpack or something in here. Let's just grab all the ammo. Oh, hi, fella. Hey buddy, we're gonna kill your uh, your Sarge if you don't mind. Uh, come on over here. Oh, I guess he's going the long way. 
Alrighty. Come around that way too then. Oh, you're stuck. Yeah, can you jump that? You can't jump that. Okay. Wow! <laughs> gotcha. Didn't drop anything. Alright, yeah, we can probably climb up here and do some damage to the big feller before he even knows what hit him. Alright, I'm gonna try to hit him with the um with the katana. Does that seem like a good idea? Okay, here we go. Bang! Oh, he missed. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, he jumps! Okay, he can climb up there too. That I didn't know. <laughs> wow! Alright, let's uh climb up, 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 up into the tower. Alrighty then. Is anybody up here? Ow! Threw a rock at me! Did you hear that connect? Whoa! Yeah, he's chucking stones. He's doing he's throwing rocks at us. That's not cool. Let's uh let's have some melon and think about how we're gonna do this. Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to shoot him. Cause now we can't reach him with the katana. And he is angry, isn't he? This is a really bad angle. There we go. Let's Oh man, that's a lot of recoil. But we're getting good headshots. We better have some good stuff. Oh, reload. Oh, he's a jumper. He's a jumper. Good headshots right on the top of his noggin. Oh my gosh, it's two magazines, two full mags. What? <laughs> Holy cow! What do they do? They made this guy super tough. Tougher than usual. No recoil on the handgun. Oh, we got him. Wait, how much experience? Did that say two experience? No, that's impossible. That would be ridiculous. There's somebody else down there, I think. Hello? Oh yeah, a little, little couple little dudes. All right, we got him. And I think there's one more. Yep. You don't need any surprises in that pile. All right, let's go see if he dropped anything good. A big old Alice pack or something would be nice. Uh, we got a military vest. We got a shirt. Military vest. Ammunition. That's it. Wow. You got to be kidding me. Oh, look at our pog. Never took any damage when we shot. It's still 100%. Yeah, we'll take the wire, I guess. And we can drop that. Yeah, not... Not really very good, guys. Not very good at all. <laughs> military vest. Military vest everywhere. Oh, helmet. I'll take the military helmet. There we go. And we got a whole matching... Got the whole matching battle rattle now. And I guess the caltrop as well. We could have used caltrops on him, maybe. Tank traps. Or wire. Yeah, that was very underwhelming. For the amount of ammunition that that took to kill that guy. The loot was terrible. Just terrible. Yeah, very disappointing. Very disappointing. Oh, here's a uh, secret secret room. There's a... Oh, what is that? I can reach right through. Sling backpack. Oh, oh, backpack, guys. We did get a backpack. Military buttons and a knife. Uh, oh, we can just go right around. <laughs> All right, yeah, the TV usually indicates that there's some awesome secret loot back here, right? I guess that was that. So a backpack. Uh, what is it called? A sling backpack. I wonder if that's better than what we're wearing right now. Um, I don't want to try it because it might be smaller. or some bottled water in there. It's not terrible. Um, maybe we should go... Let's go dump it out. Let's go dump out some of the stuff we're carrying right now. And then we'll try out the new backpack. Because I'm afraid that if it's smaller than what I'm wearing, everything's going to end up on the ground. And it's still fun picking everything up. So let's just do that. Okay, now let's try on this, uh, let's try on this backpack. Let's see if it's bigger than what we're wearing. Blue backpack. Uh, oh wait. Oh, tells you right here how many slots. 28 slots in the blue one. And the sling backpack has 30 slots. Okay, so it is two, two slots larger, and it's also kind of a different, uh, different layout. It's more vertical than horizontal. But, uh, yeah, very good. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Not the biggest backpack, but it's bigger than what we were using. And now, I think, um, let's go check out the rest of this area down here. Uh, this is just a, uh, toll booth. Pretty cool. <laughs> They're obviously closed today. Nobody's working. Cash lanes, easy pass lanes. Yeah. All right. All right. And I, I'm assuming that this is the end of the line. Northern Tunnel. 
Oh, come on, Beeb. <laughs> I can't put barbed wire on Justin Beeb here. For some reason, it will not stick. What the heck you got against barbed wire, Justin? Ay, ay, ay. Anyway. All right, well, that must be some kind of a bug or some kind of a change. I don't know. Usually, you could put, um, you could put barbed wire on your vehicle so that... When you ran over zombies, it would do a little extra damage, but for some reason it's not working. Um, all right, anyway, let's uh, let's roll out. Let's head down the map, uh, down the road here to the other end of the map. We have the military checkpoint, Bravo, and there's a gas station down there. So w maybe we can get a blowtorch or something. So uh, all right, hop in. I'm driving. Oh, <laughs> maybe you should drive. <laughs> oh, I was looking at my phone. Yeah, we really need a blowtorch so we can fix up old Justin here. Because he's, uh, he's falling apart around us. Uh, by the way, we will be doing Gang Z. It looks like that's going to be a go. I'm just waiting for... We're just hashing out the details on my server because we're going to be playing on my uh, Patreon server with patrons. So that should be pretty fun. What is down there? Uh, not much. Just a long way down. Um, oh, look at You can see the mall from over here. That's cool. We got signs. What do we got here? Lame Lane and Germany. Interesting choices. What is that? <gasps> Holy moly. It's a tusk. It's a tusk. What is a tusk? And rubber. And an MRE is nice. And another pistol mag, which you don't need. And a puck. Wait a minute. Wow. I didn't see that gun there. We're getting all kinds of guns here. <laughs> this is insane. We got a puck and a tug. <laughs> a tusk. A puck. A pog. A tusk. And a tug. Uh, no. A tusk. A puck. And a pog. Right. Let's get it straight. Let's check these out. This is a pistol. Interesting. All right. And then this tusk is a sniper. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Let's put that in here. Just guns lying on the side of the road. I mean, it was like super hard to find them, and now they're just lying on the street. <laughs> All right. We do have actually a. I think we have a magazine for a sniper rifle. Yeah, we do. All right. Let's take these two out and combine them there we go we have seven rounds for a sniper rifle and the thing only has iron sights what a crying shame now what about attachments we got the rain stock and we have the horizontal grip and we have the pistol suppressor yeah let's put this other pistol in Ooh, it fits in the little two slot too so it's an auto magical yep so it's auto semi and uh, it's a pistol technically Oh, we can put a stock on it, too. Take the puck stock off. Uh, what about a suppressor? All right, now it's suppressed. <gasps> Sweet. I don't know if it's better than the little pistol. Let's see. Does it tell us how much damage it does? 14 player damage. Doesn't show us the zombie damage. 20 player damage. Hmm. Actually does less damage than the, uh, than the wisp. I mean, we're not fighting players or anything, but... At least not yet, anyway. But like I was saying, we're going to very soon, as soon as we get the uh, the server up and running and all the details worked out. Let's uh, let's just chuck that up there for now. I'm going to stick with the little one. Let's check out the sniper rifle. It has its own tusk stock. Yeah, I don't know which one is better. We're going to have to do some testing. I'm just going to leave the tusk on there for right now. It does not have a grip, but now it does. Okay. Cool. Only seven rounds for the sniper rifle, unfortunately, but we can we can test it out somewhere. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's head on down the road. Oh, this is the checkpoint. Okay, I didn't realize we were there already. I was expecting zombies. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep moving. Oh gosh, I left the lights on. Let's go. Let's go to the gas station then. But hold on, what do we got here? Er Bus stop. I think I see somebody. Hello. Oh, what is that? It's a Skylark. Wow. It's a sniper rifle. Another sniper rifle. 91 player damage. This one does 63. Holy moly, this thing does way more. Wow. Okay, again, I don't know how well these do against the zombies. I'm just assuming if it does more damage against players, it'll do more. Versus the zombies. What is this big thing? A cultist hood. Look like a big lump of fudge. Let's try it on. Oh, yeah, look at me. I'm going to join a cult. What is that thing? Sheesh, we're finding all the cool stuff around here. Oh, this has my skin on it. My Easter Island skin. Holy cow, look at that thing. Inspect it. Correct. V2. Oh, yeah, lovely. 
Um, yeah, we're getting all the goodies here now. All right, let's let's uh, what time is it? Yeah, sun's going down. It's gonna get dark here very soon, and I need to get organized because uh, my inventory is full yet again. All right, guys, we're heading back to camp because it is getting late. Can I get? I think I can just. Is that a ramp? Oh yeah, that's a ramp. <laughs> Come on, babe, you got this, buddy. Right on your feet like a cat. Justin Bieber the cat. Now, wait a second. I'm not sure which way we're... Uh, oh, yeah. Go to the right. Go to the right. Camp is over this way. <laughs> yeah, we're going to call it quits here because it is going to be dark soon. And I got to get organized. I'm glad that we have all these guns, but I got to gotta get organized and get ready for the next episode. Seems like there are actually a lot of guns on this map. We got kind of chipped early on. Oh, there we are. There's our Mustang. Um, but now it's just kind of just raining guns. Man, when it rains, it pours. All right. Er, good job, Beeb. And Beeb is definitely going to need to be repaired. Got to find a blowtorch very, very soon. Look at all the loots. Holy moly. All right, I'm going to get ready for the next episode. And like I said, we'll probably get um, Gang Z up and running soon. And I might just switch over to that instead of doing the single player. I don't know yet. Something I need to think about. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.